It's the case that gripped the world, the rape and murder of a young Indian student on a bus in New Delhi, for which five men, seen here arriving in prison vans, are currently on trial. The case has sparked protests and ignited a national debate on the apparent epidemic of violence against women. On average, one rape is reported every 20 minutes in India, and New Delhi has been dubbed the rape capital. In response to the perceived failure by the authorities to protect them, more and more Indian women have decided to take their security into their own hands, literally. Delhi has seen a sudden increase in women taking up self-defence classes. I think Delhi has become quite unsafe after the incidents that have been happening. And uh, so I've started going out with my family after the sun sets and plus I started taking these self-defence classes so that I can at least defend myself. This training centre in the capital has seen enrolment double since December 16th, the date of the brutal gang rape. Pre-16 December, a lot of people had just fitness as the goal when they came to our classes, especially amongst women that they just wanted to lose weight or stay fit. But post-16 December, actually the focus has shifted more towards personal safety or self-defence rather than just plain fitness. As well as learning to defend themselves, women have been taking other measures to stay safe. Sales of pepper sprays have increased, while some women are choosing not to go out late at night or are only taking taxis driven by women. A government commission has been set up to recommend changes to India's sex crime laws. One of the suggestions they've come up with is that women who kill an attacker during an attempted rape should be able to plead self-defence. Shelley Goodrick, Sky News.